on today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I was sharing with you a corned beef and a vegetable along with some pasta. I think I'll call, me, I'll call it a corned beef pasta and vegetable medley or mix. But today's post notification shout out goes once more to the great Sheppy Bradshaw. Sheppy, manners and respect. I'm waiting to see who is going to break that chain. I want to say special thanks to my patrons that have been making my Patreon page possible. And if you would like to be a member of my Patreon family, in the description of this video, there will be the link. Thank you. So let's get right on to what I said to you. I'll be making a pasta and a vegetable. You know, a vegetable pasta and candy. Maybe it's not in a candy. That's so fun. I'm going to be using some spaghetti. As of, you know, whatever pasta you want to use, you use. But me just have to use some spaghetti. I have my water over there. Come into a boil. Boil or cook your your pasta to the manufacturer's instructions so this here in my hand i think it's about a pound and i'm going to be using a half a pound so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be breaking it in two right here my water is here coming to that boil that i so need yes i've had it a little water and a little salt already so i'm going to let it cook okay until it's at the point i'm gonna let it cook so right here is my skillet on a low low eat getting heated because this skillet is a very thick bottom skillet so right here i've got me some beets and some carrots i've got me here some garlic a little piece of ginger some scallions and i've got here some pak choy you could use bok choy because bok choy and pak choy they are two different things Bak choy is mostly green, coming straight down. It doesn't have any white, so that's a different with bak choy. And it's more expensive too. I've never eaten it. I must try it one day. I've seen it in the supermarkets here. So pak choy doesn't have the white. The, the, the bak choy, the leaf is a little, it looks a little more, more velvety. And this, the stems are the part up here. It's green coming all the way down. So I have pak choy right here. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to be mincing my garlic i'm gonna be mincing my garlic and also my ginger yeah so i've all prepped my beets and my carrots yeah you said so the carrot i eat so hundred but so life boy all summer we not so hundred neither like all for myself right now so i'm gonna be mincing them you know as you that do a little stir fry give it in that little mince and all of that This is just to get out a little nice aroma from your um, start your, your 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 meal with a nice little aroma here, right here. So let me turn up my skillet. My skillet is oh it was off but it's back on. So this is here is to start with a little you know a little natural aroma, natural thing. We are start kind no matter what them thing yeah give the thing. A giggle. You see what I say? Yeah. Scallions. Put it off a little weight on the bias. Do your thing. And you could use other vegetables to do your thing too. But I'm putting it with corned beef and pasta. So if you want to use cabbage and you want to use other stuff, you know, you can do it. Just showing you how you can just have a easy meal. Because my tell us, so my, you know, last week we had, most of the week it was really rainy. You know, nice cool weather, all of that. So you see me make soup. One day I put the shorts up here, yeah. so it's back to normal hot weather again. So no soup can run here right now, but it was raining for a few days and I fell for soups. I'm gonna finish cut this off and get back to the stove. Okay, so sauteing these. I did another dollar for stir fry, and I let them medium. Or you don't want to get these all burned, you just want to get flavors. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I hope that you are having a beautiful start to the new week. Uh -uh, I like that. Giving God thanks and everything. Thanks to those who are new here, those who are here from a long while. All about goodies. Bless upon yourself. Manners and respect. I've just said that. In with my carrots and my beets. Now that I've put in my carrots and my beets, I'm going to vamp the flame up a bit. 
because we're sauteing for that as already done. You know, I'm going them up in a wow, this is smelling so beautiful. So we're going to spin them around a little bit and saute them around. I'm going to go cut my um, my pak choy and I'm going to open my candy. This is such an easy meal, really easy. And as I said, you could put whatever you want to put in there. I'm going to prepare my pak choy and come back. They were already cleansed and washed, so look here, do your tea, see? See what is happening right over here my pasta is boiling yeah you see that it's soon be ready so when it's ready we are gonna drain it and then i'm gonna return while this is steaming down i'm gonna go open my corned beef so we want to stir up veggies stirring up veggies so we'll get our flame back up a little bit more okay and I remember I said you could use your veggie of choice hmm? use your vegetable of choice Then hot, so you know, want it to get a whole lot of water and start producing. That's the correct thing. A lot of water. So right here, I've got a little chili, salt, and pepper mix. Nice little gift, among others, given to me by a good little friend. So I'm gonna put a little candy salt, and it's full salt, so I'm gonna know what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is what it looks like. Chili salt and pepper. So I can put a little more. Yeah. Now it's time to definitely add my corned beef. Get the flame down, flame up, flame down. Yeah, you adjust to what you see happening. Yeah. I think my pasta over here is cooked. So I'm gonna go strain my pasta. But before that, you wanna mash your corned beef. You want to get it in there. It's so easy this thing is farm cooking family. Yeah man. Really easy. You know, you can leave the pasta out and you can have it with rice. But you know you can have it with brown rice. You can have this with bulga. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So we are mixing in this up a bit. Yeah. Really nice. And then I use the beets, which is so different. A little bell pepper, green um yellow or orange bell pepper. Would bring this up a bit yeah so let it stay there and let the corned beef no cover just go right through with this the beef is corned beef is salt we did a little sauteing with the with, with, with the with the herbs so that as an a little our um thing there giving it some gig some i was going to say no wow you see that so we're getting the corned beef all right through get it up a bit. We're gonna strain our pasta and come back. So you see it's making a little juice down in there now. So we're gonna add our pasta. With your heat on high, you just go mix around your pasta in a little steam. Taste for your salt perfection and your flavoring, right? But to this, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of a cayenne pepper. Add in a little cayenne pepper just to eat it up a bit, just for me, may not be for you, but do you. I always tell you that. Go oh, and mix in your pasta. You see how easy this is? Just tell me about it. Talk to me about this in the comment section. You can do this and bring some in a little thing for work. You can have it for dinner. The kids are home on holidays. They would love this. Teach them to do this. We're going to turn our flame off and in the next clip, I'll be plating some just for you. 
So there you have it, our corned beef and vegetable with pasta medley. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach. You saw me, I did just that. Thanks for the love, thanks for the support. I wanna see you in the comments. I wanna hear you. I wanna hear your name calling out for post notification. Interact with me. I want to see in the comments. Thanks for those that sit in that see me and I'm coming back. Thanks to all those all those grassroots people who started me. I saw you. I'm seeing you coming back one by one. Thank you all so much. My new people, thank you. Welcome to the family. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you again with another video.